the Eve of Green Ushla, Taw Falcher Rifkoch and you, the No Heart Special of the Show in Ulskull and Lee, Kundilimni in Aaron. Hello to everybody, and you are most welcome to our graduation ceremony here today at the University of Limerick on the banks of the River Shannon, Ireland. It is a wonderful day that we have planned for you, and I hope that you, your friends and your family get to enjoy this special time as the university awards you for your endeavour and achievement during the course of your studies with us here at the University of Limerick. Take this time to relax and enjoy and breathe in the significance of your achievement and note that this achievement is something that will always stay with you and that you will be able to reflect back on in years to come as you recount the journey of your time here at the University of Limerick, the times where you put in great effort to achieve your goals, to work with your lecturers and tutors and professional staff in order to realise the dreams that you came to us with on the first day of your journey. I hope that this special occasion for you, your family and your friends is all that it can be at this time and that you will go on to celebrate even when this ceremony is over. Cogardicus live Galair. Graduands, as Provost and Deputy President, it's my great honour to welcome you all to this online conferring ceremony at the University of Limerick. For UL, graduation ceremonies are the highlight of the academic calendar. It's the opportunity to come together to celebrate our students' hard work and perseverance, as well as their academic success. Graduation is a day to be celebrated with your family and friends, to recognise your academic achievements and the end of your studies. We hope that you'll be able to mark this milestone in a special way with your loved ones. For some of you, it will be the start of another journey, either into the workforce as a UL graduate or onto further education, where you'll build upon the educational foundations you received at UL. On behalf of everyone here at UL, I offer you our warmest congratulations to each and every one of you and we wish you every success in the next stage of your journey. This year, due to the pandemic, we are graduating the class of 2021 in online ceremonies. We hope you will enjoy this special occasion. The full ceremony will last about 45 minutes. At the end of the ceremony, UL students from the Irish World Academy of Music and Dance will close the event with a spectacular display. Before we begin the formal part of this online ceremony, Professor Shane Kilcummins, the Executive Dean for the Faculty of Arts, Humanities and Social Sciences, will explain to us the significance of the academic dress and the use of the mace at ceremonial events. Hello and welcome to this UL online conferring ceremony. My role today is to say a few words on the significance of the academic robes worn by our academic staff and the graduates. The origins of academic attire date back to the 12th century when universities were beginning to emerge. At that time, the dress of the scholar, both student and teacher, was that of the monk. The academic gown can be traced back to the Council of Oxford in 1222, where the local bishop decreed that all clergy should wear a closed flowing gown. Both Oxford and Cambridge adopted this practice and continued it even when the clerical attire changed. In 1895, formal standards were agreed for American universities which continue to this day. There, the colour used is indicative of the subject to which the degree pertains. This same uniformity does not apply here in Ireland and you will find it very difficult to identify a pattern or consistency. The hood was originally intended to serve as a cover for the tonsured head of the cleric. 
Caps came to be used later. You will notice that some academics wear caps while others do not, depending on the custom at the university at which the degree was conferred. In medieval times, the mace was a weapon of war and was a heavy staff or club made from metal and was originally used for breaking armour. In 13th century France, the mace was carried up by the monarch's bodyguard and began to acquire a ceremonial function as a symbol of secular power. At a live ceremony, parchments would be presented across the university mace to the graduating students by the president. Today, the UL mace will be placed on the table in front of our president to maintain its significance for use in acknowledging your academic achievement. I hope that you enjoy the ceremony and can celebrate your success with your families at home. Thank you. I now call on Professor Kirsten May, President, to officially start proceedings and to deliver her conferring address. Members of governing authority, members of academic council, parents, partners and families, graduates of the class 2021, colleagues, a meeting of the university is hereby convened for the purpose of conferring academic awards. Exercising the power granted to the University of Limerick by Orachtas Ehren, I hereby confer degrees of the university on graduates from the Faculty of Science and Engineering. Graduates, welcome, dear Yves. As I begin today, I will offer you the warmest of congratulations on completing this hugely important part of your learning journey. I also decided to begin today by looking at UL from the outside, as somewhat of an island, but that is where I paused, as there is no doubt we are part of a much bigger community, a strong local and international family that helps us to have an outward perspective and helps us to enhance and develop the way we educate our young leaders of tomorrow. We know that the last 17 months have disrupted our lives, our work, our education and research, and indeed our families, kinships and friends. Amid that disruptions, we are emerging from those clutches through research, advances in medicine, but most of all through the solidarity and determination of our communities. Speaking of emerging, today you are completing this, your chosen journey through higher education. For some of you, your steps on this pathway of formal education will end here and you will become competent and dynamic members of the workforce. For others, you will stay on this path of knowledge exchange and take your studies onwards. Nonetheless, and whatever path you have chosen, your success is hard-earned, highly valued and above all a credit to you and your entire support network. No one gets to graduate without a great deal of hard work, commitment and some degree of self-sacrifice. Today, we need to thank your tutors, who work with such passion and commitment to educate the decision-makers of tomorrow. We must thank your parents, guardians and your family who stand behind you offering the support that cannot be measured. Thank your friends who stand by your side and for just being there. And thank yourself for having the perseverance to see this expedition in the search of knowledge, insights and understanding through to the end. You have shown resilience throughout your journey and at the most challenging time, education has shown to be resilient also. However, we must learn from this pandemic and how change was foisted upon us. We must transform education and we must do it so that it remains resilient and meets the challenges of tomorrow. COVID-19 has served as a reset button. There are opportunities. Key elements of our higher education system needed to become more agile and permeable throughout the human lifespan. It needs to be flexible and adaptable between online, remote and face-to-face -face context. We must learn from the transitions of education and research undergone during the pandemic and build on these. However, any transformation or reimagining of university education has to go hand in glove with the reform of its funding model and an enhancement of its investment into its research infrastructure, capacity and capabilities. Addressing both the exponential speed in which knowledge and competencies demands evolve 
we need to enhance access to education and enable formal and informal learning opportunities, re- and upskilling throughout the human life cycle and not just at its beginning. Closing the gap between established educational models and agendas on the one hand and learners and societal needs on the other will not only ensure the global competitiveness of the Irish economy, it is vital for furthering and safeguarding social inclusion and cohesion and for the thriving of our communities. Considerations for the future of education have to focus on growing a sense of interrelatedness between individuals and the community, between the local and the global, and importantly, they have to support the move beyond unsustainable economic growth models and further regenerative approaches to halt climate change and address the planetary health. As I mentioned before, we are part of a local and international community. You have an opportunity to be part of that future of education, both directly and indirectly. Since its foundation, UL has evolved from a regional institution to a national university with growing European and global reach through excellence in research and education. We have you, our alumni, who are the much sought after graduates that industry so desires and engage citizen society needs. Armed with a valuable award, you can help shape the ways of tomorrow, answer the biggest challenges we face and strive to the greater heights we desire. Challenges such as climate change and regenerating the planet and the oceans is going to require the ensemble of sciences, all of them, the advancements of innovative technology, collaboration across disciplines, sectors and nations. Above all, it requires talent with intellectual passion, critical engagement and emotional intelligence, judgment and empathy. You are entering into that world as our ambassadors and we are so proud of you. Graduates, you have prevailed during a unique moment in history and your graduation marks a significant milestone on your personal journey of growth, on your quest to fulfill your goals and nurture your aspirations. I hope you will look back fondly on your time at UL in Limerick and as part of a community of scholars. Our post-pandemic societal rejuvenation will be supported by the addition of people like you, bringing your skills, creativity and commitment into the community. We will continue to look for support from all levels of society, from government, from our industry partners and from our communities. We will continue to strive and thrive so that we do compete internationally and continue to explore and exploit the imposed changes for the better. Our higher education institutes protect the value of academic achievements proudly and fiercely by ensuring that our governance of your educational journey reaches the highest international standards. The importance of our sector has been highlighted because of this pandemic. Science and the relevance of educational engagement and global research activities is how we overcome adversities such as this current pandemic. Therefore, we continue to stand firm against any dilutions of educational standards to ensure that you can use your degree confidently and proudly in the knowledge that it is an unquestionable statement of ability, academic integrity and attainment. Today, you join a global community of the best alumni from Limerick, people who contribute to and make a difference to the lives of individuals, communities and nations on a daily basis. Cherish the knowledge and truths you have gained, keep adding to it and remember that you are now alumni of this institution. You are inextricably linked and we urge you to stay in touch as you go out into the world for the next exciting chapter of your lives. To finish, I will offer you this. As we look forward to the rest of the year and 2022 with growing optimism, remember this. Patient, determination and hard work will always bring success. And now you are equipped with the skill set and the tools to achieve success and overcome challenges. While we face challenges, we need to be cognizant of our own self-worth, our growth and our potential to achieve. Savor the short-term success but be mindful of your long-term fulfillment and all the while think carefully about your priorities. I will close by wishing you all the very best for your new adventures in the knowledge that when life does become uncertain, you will always find comfort and sustenance from the achievement of your graduation. Feel tall, be proud, savor and relish your achievement. 
Congratulations and well done. Thank you very much. I'm pleased to call on Professor Sean Arkins, Executive Dean, Faculty of Science and Engineering, to make his address of welcome and to present the candidates for conferring of undergraduate and taught postgraduate awards. Hello, my name is Sean Arkins. I'm the Dean of the Faculty of Science and Engineering. Congratulations. You're graduating from challenging programs in the Faculty of Science and Engineering and at particularly challenging times. Your college experience have differed radically from that of every previous graduating class and hopefully all future graduating classes. You have been uniquely challenged in the fire of a global pandemic. And while the challenge hasn't yet expired, we can now perhaps look forward to brighter days ahead and to a time when the lockdown will be a distant memory. Over 100 years ago, a disease misnamed as Spanish flu affected a staggering one third of the world's population and killed 50 million. But 1918 was a world that didn't know viruses very well. The first virus had just been identified. Now we are all familiar with PCR tests and the merits of mRNA or viral vaccines. Technology has also enabled us to better adapt. Can you imagine trying to navigate the current pandemic without the developments that we've made in the past 40 years in science, engineering, design, mathematics, computing? The aftermath of the 1918 pandemic brought a baby boom, the Charleston, and the Roaring Twenties. Life after COVID-19 would also be different. We have learned how to work differently and perhaps better. But unlike our ancestors in the 1920s, our post-COVID world cannot afford to return to life as before. You, the class of 2021, was helped to show us how not to put the pieces back together again, but instead, how to create a new and better normal. The pandemic has shown us the many inequalities that have defined our lives for far too long. It has also allowed us to reflect on how we would like our world and lives to be and has fostered a better appreciation of our community and environment. And that environment is endangered. Global warming due to increased greenhouse gases in the industrial world poses the most severe problem for governments today. While science and engineering developments were central to industrialization and the resulting global challenges, science and engineering disciplines will also be critical to the solutions. From now on, our developments must be sustainable. Scientific, engineering and technological innovation will be central to achieving sustainable development. These sustainable development goals were created by the United Nations and identify a set of targets, such as the eradication of extreme poverty, the delivery of improved education and healthcare for all, and equality for women. Many of these goals, like affordable, sustainable energy and health and well-being, will particularly challenge the ingenuity and technology of science and engineering graduates. As science and engineering graduates, your abilities will be critical to achieving sustainable development in our post-COVID world as we struggle to realign our ambitions with sustainable climate health. Your disciplines will be key to supporting the post-COVID recovery as we look to increasing our efficiency and effectiveness in the production of products and the delivery of services in a sustainable manner. Your experience, together with the independence and resilience that you have developed over the past semesters, will stand you well in your future career. Your expertise will be necessary to drive all our economic ambitions and to provide the foundations for a sustainable future. Science and engineering disciplines are continuously developing. Continuous learning is the minimum requirement for success in any field. Stay open to change. The University of Limerick and the Faculty of Science and Engineering will be here with current and state-of-the-art programs to help you on your career journey. In closing, 
let me congratulate you, our graduates today, on your achievements in particularly challenging times. You all have bright futures ahead. Well done to all of you, and I hope you enjoy this event. I am pleased to announce the winner of the 2021 Teaching Excellence Individual Award is Dr. Shalini Singh. <laughs> President, the Academic Council of the University has been satisfied that the following candidates are worthy to be conferred undergraduate and taught postgraduate awards. Therefore, I present the candidates and request you to confer the awards on them. The Assistant Dean of Research, Professor Jeff Punch, will now call the candidates in each award category and in alphabetical order. Specialist Diploma in Artificial Intelligence and Machine Learning, Gilbert Carey, Kevin Smith, Specialist Diploma in Quality Management, Lean Systems, William Barr, John Carlton, Sarah Cassidy, Laura Conlon, Maria Conlon, Nicholas Cronin, Brenda Daly, Maria Elena de Blas Menendez, David Didi, Anya Doolan, Liam Duffy, Kevin Egan, Alison English, James Flanagan, Sarah Flood, Rebecca Gilligan, Stefano Grassi, Gillian Herity, Claire Joel, Vit Johnins, Enda Keehan, Connor Lowe, Kiron McCarran, Frank McGovern, Kevin Mulcahy, Paul Mulcahy, Carl Murphy, Anna Murray, Alice Maria O'Callaghan, Brian O'Connell, Stephen O'Dee, Brian O'Donoghue, Colm O'Regan, David O'Sullivan, Paul O'Sullivan, Daniela Pantelescu, Niall Power, Ronan Rafferty, Anthony Paul Ryan, Killian Smith, Marek Sopel. Specialist Diploma in Quality Management, Six Sigma. Johnny Aramyalil, Podrick Brophy, Thomas Fitzgerald, Monica Ramadova, Elaine McNamara, Kevin O'Dwyer, Eugene O'Leary, Kiron Pearson, David Anthony Purcell, Elizabeth Regan, Georg Shafrina, Hanbin Yao. Master of Engineering in Aeronautical Engineering, Hannah Begley, Christopher Connell, Priscilla Itobe, Naomi Kyo, John McMahon, Connor Nelson, Niall O'Donnell, Neve O'Dwyer, Oscar Pujal Owens, Danny Salhani, Oshin Slattery, Angel Vanklov. Master of Engineering in Mechanical Engineering, Peter Breslin, Tim Buckley, Akash Chowdhury.
Aoife Clark, Daniel Clark, Thomas Collins, Cahill Daly, Aaron Dean, Cahill D, Tariq El Masri, Daniel Flynn, Tommy Gibbons, Jason Hannon, Killian Hawk, Sean Kelly, Patrick Lamb, Owen McCormack, Michael O'Leary, Stephen Riley, Thomas Scannell, O'Shane Smith, Niall Whelan, Shane Whittle. Master of Science in Aeronautical Engineering, Mali Kanteswari Bandahara. Master of Science in Digital Health Transformation, Louise Boggan, Dermot Boyle, Claire Brown, Una Brown, Sarah Carberry, James Carr, Mary Elizabeth Casey, Sive Cassidy, Kiron Coughlin, Yvonne Coughlin, Heather Cronin, Michael Dwan, Joanne Finn, Leonie Finnegan, Seamus French, Ashlyn Gallen, Niall Ginnity, Thomas Glynn, David Hanlon, Connor Hawk, Lillian Hayes, Patricia Hines, Mindanaro Imcha, James Kennedy, John Lavelle, Pamela Lonergan, Simone Lysett, Conor Malone, Carol McCann, Sinead McKiernan, Neve Morin, Donald Munro, Laura Nally, Claire O'Halloran, Owen O'Malley, Ricardo Antonia Pass, and Jay-Z Paul Jesudison, Paula Reedy, Miriam Roach, Jennifer Scargill, Aileen Sheehan, Caroline Sims, Lorraine Smith, Adrian Sweeney, Anka Trulé, Anne Tooby, Ella Tyrrell, Judith Fahey, Patricia Walsh. Master of Science in Engineering Practice, Michael Burt, Elizabeth Horvath, Kira Lawler, Thomas O'Connor, Ian Power, Emmett Pine, David Roach, Tatiana Yablokova, Tatiana Ziedelman, Master of Science in Software Development International Systems, Sinead Cahill, Mayank Rick. Master of Engineering, Hang Zhang. Master of Science, Cleona Colbert. Raphael Dantas. Oliver Fitzsimmons. Patrick Taff. I now call upon our newest graduate from the faculty, Ms. Aoife Walsh, to say a few words to her peers in the graduating class of 2021. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Aoife Walsh, and I'm a student from the chemical and biochemical engineering class of 2021. 
I feel very honoured to have been chosen as the representative of the Science and Engineering Faculty to address our graduating class today. I'd like to start by saying congratulations to everyone. After four challenging years, it's done. We got there in the end and the task was worth the hassle. I know we're all disappointed to not be able to celebrate this important milestone in our lives in person, but today we will celebrate and mark our achievement together virtually. When writing this speech, it made me think back to my first day here in UL, our orientation day. I remember how nervous I was not knowing anyone in my course, sitting in the concert hall waiting for my course to be called into groups for orientation. Then the first few days trying to figure out our timetables and where all our classes were and getting lost in the main building especially. It's thinking back to these times that makes us realise how far we've come, how much we've grown, how much we've learned and all the hard hours work put in in the Glucksman to get here. As important to me as a degree are the friends that I have made in UL and will have forever. I will always look back fondly on the memories I've made here and treasure the friends I made and all the good times we've had. It is your friends that get you through the tough times, whether it's lending a helping hand with an assignment, walking with you to a class, going for a puck at the Maguire pitches, having a point in the stables, or having a chat when someone might need it most. While it is something that has infected every aspect of our lives and something that I'm sure we're all sick of hearing about, it's hard to talk about our college experience without mentioning COVID. It has had a profound impact on both our learning and social experience in UL since March 2020. Each and every one of us has had to adapt to online learning, trying to attend virtual labs and tutorials, at times being without the library and other campus resources, and without the helping hand and support of our friends and peers. It has been a very challenging year, missing our friends and normal college life. Maybe at times young people haven't received enough credit throughout this pandemic. We've had to sacrifice a lot to keep each other and our families safe. As we all head off in our own directions into different fields, all that we've learned in UL over the past four years will be invaluable. Aside from the technical and practical knowledge, we have the social skills, connections and skills like time management, adaptability and perseverance to help us along the way. Some of us know exactly what we're going to do next. Others have an idea and others again have no clue. But I have no doubt we will figure it out in the end. And as was often the motto in our college house, sometimes you have to take the risk or lose the chance. Today we are graduating from a dynamic programme that embraces change and has equipped us with the tools to navigate an unpredictable and ever-changing educational landscape. And in the field of science and engineering, it's important to keep learning. As a wise man once said, even if you're on the right track, you will get run over if you just sit there. To finish up, on behalf of the students, I would like to thank the staff of the Science and Engineering faculty who have navigated us through our respective courses, along with the UL campus staff, with a special mention to the library ladies and the lads in the stables. A special word of thanks to our parents, family and friends that have stuck by us and supported us through the ups and downs of the four years. So once again, a huge congratulations to the graduation class of 2021. I hope you all enjoy your celebrations today with your family and friends. And remember, graduation is not the end, it's the beginning. Thank you all very much for listening. Gurv Mil Magav Galair Agus Ganairi and Talib. I am pleased to call on Professor Nora Lee Kennedy, Vice President Research, to present a brief overview of research programmes here at UL. As Vice President of Research, I am delighted to offer my congratulations to you all on this wonderful occasion. At UL, we are very proud of our reputation for doing excellent research that tackles grand challenges and makes a positive impact on our world. UL has a rich history of research across its disciplines. The pursuit of excellence in that research has contributed to our understanding of many important research questions, as well as the development of many applications for the real world. The impact of our research is evident in many areas, including tackling multi-drug resistance, improving software development, understanding risk in autonomous vehicles, developing new processes for the pharmaceutical sector for precision medicine, and developing new materials for sustainable uses in a range of industries, to highlight a few. PhD students are a fundamental part of the research ecosystem, and we are actively growing our PhD community at UL. In January 2020, we welcomed the first cohort of PhD students from Algeria to join a structured PhD programme. We also host this SFI Centre for Research Training in Foundations of Data Science, a nationally funded collaborative initiative between Science Foundation Ireland, Maynooth University, UCD and industry partners coordinated by Skillnet Ireland and Technology Ireland ICT Skillnet. 
These structured programmes sit alongside the more traditional PhD route that many of our PhD students take in all four faculties. We strive to offer an excellent experience to all our students and to continually review and improve on feedback received. We have recently received the results of the Student Survey 2021 and UL's postgraduate report having an above average experience in almost every category. The survey results show that UL's research students rate our research infrastructure and research culture is higher than other institutions. You are more likely to be supervised by a team of academics and report a more positive supervision experience in UL than in other institutions. UL students also report having more travel funding and that their research degree programme is more worthwhile than other students report. Doing a PhD happens alongside many other exciting things in your life and I would also like to acknowledge and thank the many people in your lives who have supported you in many ways during the last number of years. The family and friends who lent a literal and figurative shoulder of support and celebrated the highs with you and helped you through the lows. Completing a PhD develops your expertise in your chosen field and also develops many transferable skills which prepare you well for your chosen career path. Throughout your PhD, you're likely to have also had opportunities to present your work to colleagues abroad, and through those experiences, you will have broadened and deepened your network. Continuing to grow your network throughout your career is of huge value to you, but also do keep connected to your UL family. Having completed your PhDs during a global pandemic speaks to your resilience and capacity to focus. Taking the positives from this difficult period the world is experiencing will also bode very well for your futures. To close, I wish you every success in your future careers and hope that you will continue to connect with your UL family throughout your futures. Congratulations to you all. I am now pleased to call on Professor Anne Ledworth Executive Dean, Graduate and Professional Studies, to present the PhD candidates. President, the Academic Council of the University has been satisfied that the following candidates are worthy to be awarded a doctoral degree by research and thesis. Therefore, I present the candidates to you and request you to confer the awards on them. Each doctoral candidate has successfully undertaken a programme of study and research involving the submission of a thesis and its examination by internal and external examiners. Professional Doctorate, Engineering, Sean Lane. The title of Sean's thesis is Development of Predictive Modelling and Knowledge Management Tools to Assist Interventional Composite Catheter Design. Sean's supervisors are Dr. Sean Moore and Dr. David Tanner. Doctor of Philosophy, David O'Connor, RIP. The title of David's thesis is Correlation of Endothelial Cellular Behaviour to Hemodynamic Parameters in Venous Intimal Hyperplasia Using Ex Vivo Living Porcine Vein Tissue. David's supervisors are Professor Michael Walsh and Dr. Marco Franzoni. May he rest in peace. Graduates, thank you for watching this online ceremony today, which I hope you enjoyed. On behalf of everyone at UL, I offer you our warmest congratulations to each and every one of you and wish you all every success in your future career path. <laughs>